Hello chess lovers, Surin here and in this video I would like to share with you a very aggressive game played by Russian astronomer and a strong chess player Viktor Knore. His opponent is a leading German-Polish chess master Johannes Zuckertort and this game was played in 1866 in Breslau. Now let's see what happened on the board. Knorr started the game with e4 and e5 by Zuckertort, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4. We see the Italian game and after bishop c5 Knorr went for this hyper-aggressive Evans gambit. b4 is on the board, bishop takes b4 c3, bishop c5, here the most popular move is d4, but Knorre first castled king's side and only after d6 went for d4. He takes d4, c takes d4, bishop b6, d5, knight a5, right now that bishop on c4 is hanging, but white first played bishop b2, counterattacked the pawn on g7, and only after knight e7 moved back his bishop on d3 square. Black castled king side, knight c3, knight g6, knight e2, c5. Black is starting an advancement on the queen side, queen d2, bishop d7, king h1, bishop c7, knight g3. White is creating a very dangerous threat. For example, now if we move like b5, then white can go for bishop takes g7 sacrifice. If king takes g7, then knight h5 check, and then the queen can join the attack. If rook g8, then knight g5, it's over, guys, white is winning. That's why after knight g3, Zuckertort blocked the dark squared bishop's diagonal by playing f6. Rook c1, and b5 is on the board. Knight f5, b4. White is attacking on the king side, and black is counterattacking on the queen side. Let's see who will be faster. Rook g1, this rook is going to support the g pawn. b3. And g4, white is not even paying attention what's going on on the queen side. b takes a2 is on the board, look at this, suddenly the b pawn appeared on a2 and g5, white is also allowing this devastating fork. Knight b3 is on the board, queen e3 and bishop takes f5. Well, it's strange that Zuckertor didn't capture on c1, if queen takes c1 then rook b8. If g takes f6, then rook takes f6. Black is holding, guys, no problem at all. And of course, black has a huge advantage. But in the game after queen e3, we see bishop takes f5. Now comes e takes f5, and another strange move, rook e8. At least black should have played knight a5. And after knight takes e5, f takes e5, the players have equal chances. But in the game after e takes f5, we see rook e8 which allows white to gain a huge advantage. Bishop e4 is on the board. Knight takes c1. Finally, Zuckertort accepted the sacrifice. f takes g6. Of course, g takes f6 is equally strong, but in the game we see f takes g6. Queen e7. Well, not the best defensive resource. f5 could have been better, although even in this case, white can easily gain a huge advantage. This line is actually very interesting, that's why I want to share it with you. White can capture h7 and then play g6, and if rook takes e4, then white has this devastating knight g5 move, the threat is knight f7 checkmate. If queen e8, then queen c3, this time white is threatening checkmate in 1, if rook e7, then knight f7 check, and then g takes f7, and if queen e5, then simply queen takes c1, it's over guys, this is winning. If queen e4 check, then f3, and then rook g2, white is winning. But in the game after f takes g6, we see queen e7, and now comes g takes h7 check. This is a very interesting position, both players have a single pawn on the 7 rank, but of course white pawn is more venomous. King a8 and g takes f6. Here Zuckertort captured on e4 and now comes f takes g7 check, a very beautiful position I think. Zuckertort himself was a very aggressive player and he was definitely shocked seeing such an attack. King takes h7, but after g8, queen finally Johannes Zuckertort resigned. If rook takes g8, then the rook is no longer protecting the queen. White can capture on e4 with a check and then announce a checkmate. This was simply an astounding attack. Although during the attack white made several inaccuracies, but 
Zuckerthor didn't manage to find the best defensive resource and soon found himself in a deep trouble. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next video.